Hi, my name is James and I'm going to show you how I made a wide angle adapter for my Kodak ZI8 camera that is removable. I did not glue anything uh, to the front of the camera. It's in perfect condition and doesn't void the warranty. In fact, you're looking through it right now. I'm going to take it off and watch what happens. This is what the um, the lens on the Kodak ZI8 would look like if I held the camera facing me at uh, arm's length. Once again, I'm going to put the adapter that I made back on. Isn't that great? Now, I'm in front of a mirror. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it. Here's the adapter. And there's me taking the adapter off. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you how you can make your own. Alright, so I had an idea. I've seen YouTube videos where people are taking um, wide-angle lenses and attaching it to either their flip or their Kodak Z18 camera and you know they're using various ways in fact I even tried to use a rubber band and paper clip and it worked pretty good but it bounced around and didn't really stay on so although I could use it for still images uh, or still you know video um, I couldn't really use it to move around or in action also um, the way I did it had the the concave inner lens of the uh, the converter uh, touching the um, t front of the camera which wasn't so good for the lens so what I want to do is I want to mount this plastic housing uh, to the front of the camera and screw the lens on however I don't want to glue it like everyone has been doing I don't want to use any kind of super glue I don't want to use epoxy like they even said, um, you know, you could damage your camera, you don't want to do that, and you could also avoid the warranty. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this epoxy putty, and I'm going to try to mold a housing over the front of the camera that will hold this piece of plastic still and sturdy enough to hold the lens. Now, I don't want this epoxy to touch the camera, so I'm going to first... Um, use tape over the parts of the camera that I want to mold the putty. So um, I'm going to pause the camera right now and we'll come back when I've taped it all up. Okay we're back and as you can see I've taped up quite a bit of the front, some of the sides, top and bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the epoxy putty which hardens in a few minutes so I need to work fast and create a framework around the top edge top edge of the um, camera around the lens um, down to the bottom and across to um, braces to um, hold it steady and um, I'm gonna do that with this putty this is some standard putty you can get any either at any hardware store or at any actually some convenience stores or craft stores uh, what this does is it um, contains two so two compounds uh, the, see the inner white one and the outer blue one when they're mixed together they start to harden into a very hard permanent um, putty and becomes very very strong so uh, alright I've turned the camera back on so you can see I'm wearing gloves and I'm molding the putty the white and the blue together it's uh, gonna get a little bit sticky so I'm gonna have to be careful with the gloves but basically you mold this together until the blue disappears and then you have a few minutes to work with this until it starts to harden so it's almost ready folding probably the best way is to fold it over and over again and then smash it fold and smash now it's relatively soft right now, but it will start to be harder and harder to mold. And then you have to work fast. Now what I need to do is I actually need to work with thinner strips. 
So I'm going to break this down to smaller strips. And I soon might be taking the gloves off. And off come the gloves. I'm going to mold a very small piece into a circle. Being careful not to push it too close to the lens. And then take this, which does not have a hole yet, and try to flatten it not, not using too much pressure don't break the camera there is a flat area right here that you'll be able to glue your lens cover onto or your lens backing And we'll let that dry for a little while. And I'm gonna pause the camera. While that's still drying, put that on the side now. You wanna drill a hole into the cover. That's gonna allow the light to hit the lens. So I'm gonna just use a soda can and uh, drill a hole and with a drill <laughs> right into the center of this lens cover to start off and if you don't have power tools I would recommend actually using a real power tool otherwise you might make a mistake okay now that's the first hole but I will make it wider it's not quite wide enough, but you don't want to try to gouge it out with a knife or anything like that right now. 